Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a car game in the Blender Game Engine. This is an update from one of my old videos. The setup of it was kind of annoying, having to have like extra objects, or having an extra object to operate the steering. It was just annoying setting up. Um, this new script, it's really simple and uh, really customizable. Like you can customize pretty much every bit of this or like all the values in here through properties. However, the properties are not required. So let's go and start. You can start by downloading the starter blend in the description below, or you can just make your use your own car, it doesn't matter. And then uh you also want to download this Python script. If you download the starter blend, the Python script is included. So first of all, setting up the vehicle. You want to make sure that the direction the car will be driving is facing the green arrow for now just while we're setting it up and then you know then you want to go to your wheels and you want to set their origin point to how they're going to pivot because I've had people send me blender files where their pivot point can be like somewhere way over here or something and it makes it pivot like or roll like this and you don't want that so either go into edit mode select the center point somewhere set it to there, the origin point to there, or you can just uh, click origin to geometry, but sometimes that won't work. Like on mine, it won't work because it's not uh, symmetrical. Anyway, so those are just called pointers. So I'm just going to show you how to basically set it up, and then I'm going to go over all the little properties and stuff you can use to adjust the settings. So go ahead and select all the wheels and parent them to the car and uh, turn the screencast keys on okay so now let's set up the physics grab the car go over to the physics panel oh and make sure you're in the blender game settings then go over here change it to rigid body set the mass if you want I'm just gonna set it to like 200 maybe 100 I think 200 works pretty well uh, no sleeping this is also really important and uh, collision box and just convex hull I've had bugs with triangle mesh but so yeah just go and use convex hull so now select the wheels and uh, set them to no collision for each of them And now my script completely gets rid of looking for objects with specific names. So now you just want to add a property, name it tire, set a string, and label the type or which tire it is. This is the front drivers, so FD. And the reason why I get rid of the names is because this way you can have multiple cars because you can't have a car with the same or two objects with the same name. This one's RP, and the last one. RD for rear drivers. Okay, and that's basically it. You can now run the script. So you want to go ahead now to always censor this is required and just check this button right here. And, uh, Add a Python, set it to module execution mode, and the module name is the script name, car setup, and then you don't need the PY, but it's important to have that there, and uh, the function name, which is main. So car setup dot main, and then go and connect these. And if you press P to play. It works so far. And uh, actually, have a little error here. Okay, 
but you can't control it yet, and that's because we haven't linked any uh, control sensors to it yet. But if you have a car that's just going to be sitting somewhere, like you won't be controlling it, you can completely run it just like this, and it'll be fine. And uh, but if you want to control it, we need to add a couple of sensors. So keyboard sensors, gas. This is the one that's going to go forward. You can set this to anything, by the way, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you name a gas and then connect it. So now if we test it, press W and it drives forward. And then reverse. S and connect it. Now it should be able to drive backwards. Yep. And then the brake. It doesn't matter the order you put these in, by the way. Just as long as you name them correctly. Um, I'm just going to use right shift. And that should be able to stop. And yeah, I can. I was pressing the wrong button. Um, then left. I'm going to use A and right. And uh, if you're having problems right now, select your car and wheels. I don't think I said this in the beginning. Um, select your car and the wheels. Press Control A and apply rotation and scale. And uh, that'll fix some of the problems that can occur. Okay, so the car should be completely playable now. And yep. So that's the basic setup. However, you can go and change a lot of these values through properties. You can change the forward speed, acceleration amount, steer speed and stuff, because this is steering pretty fast here. So first one I want to go over is the engine. You add this to the car, you name an engine, and set it to boolean. And this will tell if the engine is running or not. If it's not checked, it's not going to allow you to drive. You can still steer and stuff, but you just can't drive. Check it, and then you can drive. And then you can change this throughout the game. Like you could uh, you make it like if you crash into something with a collision sensor, turn the engine off, you can't drive anymore. Um, another thing I'd like to go ahead and do is turn speed. This will control how fast the wheels will turn whenever you uh, steer left and right. Since it's zero, I can't turn at all. Set it. The default, I believe, is five. I think that's what I set in the script. Yeah. So I'm going to set it to like three. And it should steer, steer much slower. It does Yeah. So the next thing is the turn amount. and set this to integer. This will tell how many degrees the wheel will turn or can can turn. So the default's 25 degrees so that's like um, this much. So if you want to turn more than that you just set it with this. So let's say you want to turn 90 degrees. Press play it will turn the full 90 degrees which is a little ridiculous but and uh... you do 40 the good thing you can do is like the faster you go uh... you can lower the turn amount whenever you go fast and uh... increase it when you go slow and then uh... Yeah, anyway. Um, the next one, let's see here. Um,
Okay, yeah. And then the next thing you do is like forward speed to control the acceleration amount. And uh, with it zero, I won't be able to drive forward. And then you can obviously increase it. The default, what is the default? 500 is the default. So you can set to like 5000 when I press W. Yeah, it accel accelerates really fast. And uh, so I'm just going to leave it at, I might set it to 800. The next one is reverse speed. The default value is 300, and uh, I'm just going to change it to like 5 or 600. I'll just say 600. Now it can go in reverse a little faster. And uh, I think this is the last one. Brake amount, and this will uh, tell how powerful the brakes are. Set it to zero, you're not going to have any brakes can't break it all. Um, give it like 10. The default value is 50. Yeah, it's a really bad break. Um, so those are all the little property mods you can do to the script for the car. But then there is even more for the wheels, such as height. You can change the height value. Do this. Press P to play. And now the wheels, like, the suspension's really high up now for this wheel. And you have to do it for each wheel individually, but um, for height, though, you could really just drag the wheel down and then press P if you want, but. Using this, you can make like a little hydraulic effect using some code or uh, some logic bricks. Change the height of it. Um, actually, I think when you change the height, I don't think it'll actually update on here. Um, at least right now. When you download this script, it might do that like automatically. Anyway, um, back to this though. Height, I'm just going to leave at zero. Um, what's the next one? Stiffness, things will go over next. Or no, radius. This is a really important one. Like, I think it's actually doing it right now. Um, let me turn on the mouse cursor real quick. Um, okay, no, it's not. Okay. Sometimes you'll have bugs like um, where the wheels will want to float. Like, let me go ahead and uh, set up a quick example. So like when I press P to play, the wheels are nowhere near the ground and uh, sometimes that'll happen. So you can use this radius property to fix that and the way you do it is you get the dimension of the z-axis of that wheel whenever you select it and you divide that by two or just half of this and that's your radius. But uh, the script should do it automatically but it sometimes it won't work right. So yeah, that's there to fix that. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. I don't need it. Um, next thing is grip and this will tell 
how much the tires grip to the ground it's kind of obvious but and then just a grip value here so if I were to set these two front wheels to zero I won't be able to steer at all because you know I'm not gonna grip yep anyway um, so you can kind of use it for like when you start skating you can also uh, kind of use it for drifting I guess I'm not really sure how to get these things to drift how to code it at all but um, so yeah anyway uh, compression this is like pretty sure that's what this does um how far out the car can be away from the wheels so like if you have the wheel like way out or something and uh you have a high compression level it's going to be able to go like way up or you know the wheel's just going to have be able to go some distance away from the vehicle i'm not sure if that ex is exactly what it does but i'm pretty sure it's what it does um and you can modify that with uh compression and then the value so like zero yeah I'm not even sure exactly what this does um kinda see the let's try to find out what it does okay yeah so it's basically how springy it is I guess And the default value is 6. So you get a high value. It's not going to be bouncy at all. Not really going to absorb it. Um, the next one is damping. I'm not even sure what this does exactly. But I did set it up to where you can modify it. So let's see what it does. See if I can figure it out. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I can't really tell. Yeah, if someone wants to tell me in the comments or something, I'd like to know. Um, because I'm not even exactly sure what it does. Okay, and then I think stiffness. Nope, there's one more after this. Okay, stiffness is the next one. And this is how stiff the suspension is. So, like, a low stiffness, you know, it's not going to be able to support the weight. High stiffness is just not going to compress at all. And okay, and the last one, roll influence, which is I think I may switch this to where it's a car property and not a tire property, but this is like what makes it whenever like you go really fast and you turn like say you turn to the right, the car will lean to the left. That's the roll influence. Same thing with like accelerating and stuff. Um, so yeah, you can control how much it leans using the roll influence. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the little properties, property mods. I guess is the way of saying it. When you download the finished blend, you're gonna ha uh, it's gonna come with some documentation about all the little property mods you can do and uh, stuff like that.